annoying and just wakes me up. You know, she might as well have been Grandma Jeanette Blinky that she made. Remember the other day when we were talking about rhythm when we checked our heartbeat? I discovered something kind of fun. The word rhythm looks a lot like the word rhyme. And rhymes are like stop, pop. Ooh, that's a good one. Fa, fa. Yell, tell. I got a really good book, and I'm going to read it to you. It's on my not read. I got to put on my grandma glasses. I wish you could see the see it, but you can't see the pages. But I want to read it to you. I think every child in America should read this book. It's called Yell and Tell. It's by Debbie Pearl. Mama says go out to play. This is our very special day. Did you hear the rhyme? Play, day. Listen to the rhymes throughout the book. We'll swing and slide and sing along, then beat our drums, ding and dong. We can both make puppets, it's easy as can be. I'll make one that looks like you, and you'll make one that looks like me. There's a picture of two little girls playing. I'm Sarah Sue, I'll give you a clue. Puppets are made with lots of glue. Funny eyes, cute little noses, a mouth for each that opens and closes. Then fuzzy hair and brows that wiggle, it's enough to make a skiggle. So there's a picture of the little girls making puppets. I'm Sarah Sue, I have a clue. I know things that can protect you. Listen, something Mama told me when I was just a little kid. You should listen very closely. One day you'll be glad you did. I'm Sarah Sue. This is a clue. Learn it because it's oh so true. What's yours is yours. What's mine is mine. Remember that and you'll be fine. Parts of your body are very special. They are made for you alone. No one else should ever touch them. This rule should be set in stone. Hey there, little Pearly. Are you listening to my clues? You should pay attention and learn what you can do. Mama made our pantaloons and some for our puppets, too. They keep our bottoms covered. It's the smartest thing to do. We like our bloomers white and our tights black as night, but we'll rather wear our pantaloons, the green ones with the red balloons. Pantaloons are kind of like long shorts underneath dresses. I'm Sarah Sue and this is the clue. You never know who's watching you. When you climb up a ladder or slide down the slide or swing on a swing way up to the sky, pantaloons will protect you from peepers who are sly. And there's a picture of a little girl with a magnifying glass. I'm Sarah Sue, I have a clue. You know, some, you'll know someone's bad by what they do. Sometimes bad things might catch you by surprise like when you're outside playing and a friend comes strolling by. He'll smile and says he likes you and he has a secret to tell. Then takes you someplace private where you'll be hidden really well. You will know he is a bad boy by the things he asks of you. He'll want to touch your private parts, which he's not allowed to do. You should run and tell your mama. She will know just what to do. She will make that bad boy sorry he ever tried to mess with you. I'm Sarah Sue. Here's another clue. Telling Mama is a good thing to do. It may be one of Mama's friends who says that you're a joy. He likes such a nice, he seems like such a nice, nice man when he gives you a shiny toy. He'll sit you tightly on his lap pretending that he cares. But when no one else can see, he touches you down there. It doesn't matter who the toucher is, big guy, little girl, brother, or friend. If anyone touches you like that, yell and tell. So he won't do it again. I'm Sarah Sue. I'm telling you, don't wait a single minute. Point your finger at the bad guy. There's no way he can defend it. Yell so loud and yell so long that woo, the cat will sing his lonesome song. Just like when we bear our drums, ding-a-ling and ding-a-dong. I think that meant beat the drums. I'm Sarah Sue. Here's the clue. When you tell on a bad guy and his secrets you reveal, 
then other little children will be safer because you squealed. I'm Sarah Sue. I've taught you clues. Now you know just what to do. Okay, my little pearly, I've done my very best, but all you do is stare at me. Have you learned anything yet? I guess I need to show you just how it is to be done. Scream your screechy, creaky, scream! And tell your little feet to run! Okay, I'm pushing away the picture. I'm Sarah Sue, remember this clue so nothing bad happens to you. What's yours is yours, what's mine is mine. No one else should touch or see, remember that and you'll be fine. Now I ask you, little pearly, will you really scream that creaky scream, that squeaky, screechy, screely scream, the way you do when something really bothers you? And then there's a picture of a, the older girl was teaching the younger girl this, Pearly. And so there's a picture of Pearly standing there. And she says, ah! And then her friend says, wow, that's a creaky, squeaky, squealy scream. That squeaky, squeaky, squealy scream will do. You've really learned to yell and tell. I'm so very proud of you. I'm Sarah Sue with a clue for you. You'll be safe. Now you know what to do. I'll start right now and say it plain. Listen, all you kids out there. Protect yourself from ugly things. Those prepared are usually spared. It's really very simple. All you need to know, learn to yell and always tell. That's a good book, isn't it? Well, keep us safe when we yell and tell. And if we don't have moms to tell, we can tell our teachers so that they can help keep us safe. You know what? <clears throat> when I was a little girl, oh, I was probably about eight years old, nine years old, and my friends would come over and we would hide under the covers and do sneaky things that we weren't supposed to do. Being sneaky is never a good thing. It makes us feel yucky inside. And we weren't meant to feel yucky inside. We were meant to feel good inside. Look at this word, Lily. This word is sneak. S-N-E-A-K-E. -E. And I'm gonna change one of the letters. We're gonna see what happens. S-N-A. K-E, snake. We don't want to be a sneak because a sneak is like a snake. Don't get into the habit of being sneaky because nobody likes snakes. Ah! Well, it's time for me to practice my guitar. No whining for me today. See ya.